I'm at the bottom of my hill here. It doesn't look like it in the video, but it's about 27 degrees of slope from here up to the house at the top. And this tractor will not go up this hill in high gear. All I've got is the bucket on it, the loader, and nothing on the back. So here we go. Hey everyone, welcome back. Today I'm going to be doing something that will void a warranty, so I don't really recommend it. But if you're in the same situation I am, you may consider it. See, I've got a 1025R, which is supposed to have 24 point something horsepower, but I've had this thing almost three years, and I can't drive around in high gear. If I push it into a pile of dirt to pick it up, the engine stalls and dies. The engine dies before I run out of traction. Now I've got R4 tires on. People tell me those are the worst tires you can have on a tractor and I've never lost traction with them things. So, I'm going to assume my engine is weak. I put in fresh diesel. I use uh, everyday treatment EDT from Hotshot. And I have new filters. I put synthetic fluids in all parts of the machine and I still barely have any power. To me, it feels like it's a 12 horsepower tractor. So, I'm going to cut the governor off. We'll make some adjustments and we'll see what happens. I don't have a dyno. But I can do some tests and I can show you before and afters and we'll see what the conclusion is when we're done. So the tool of the day is a micro die grinder and a Dremel cutoff wheel. I try not to cut these fuel lines and the side of this pump with this end of the wheel. protective cover on the set screw so you don't have to worry about cutting that part. I just didn't want the rotary wheel to hit the side of the pump. Just in case you were wondering how the actual tamper device is attached, 
it goes on this way where this was outside and you can see the little black button if you're looking at it of the cover cap and then there's this retainer ring which snaps into the grooves right here and it's mounted that way so I don't think there's a way to get this off without cutting it because the harder you pull this way the more of these tabs are going to try to bend outward I'll put 17 back on this lock nut loosen it up and then I'm going to rotate the smaller one out one turn counterclockwise that should increase the power so quarter turn half turn three quarter turn one turn lock it back down No smoke yet, I'll try a little more. Just to show that it's not stuck. Okay, so I put a hydraulic load under it and put it into relief, I hit the smoke limit. And I still run out of power before I run out of traction.
So I don't know if I get any greater pulling force with this. I don't have a, a load tester or a crane gauge. That might be what it's called. I should really get one. So as far as losing traction, I can't do it with this test. So this next one I may have to do pulling some hills with a load. All right, I still have the weight bracket on and the forks. Nothing special. All right, I'm gonna go up the hill again. This is probably a terrible idea. But I've got the weight bracket. Forks and an IBC cage of fire. All right, let's try this out. High gear. Done this test before with the box blade that's a six foot box and an empty bucket but this time I've got a full bucket of green wood and eight 42 pound weights hanging off the back so that's an extra 336 pounds on top of what the box blade weighs and I have no clue what it weighs oh I'm gonna go up that hill This time the injector pump is one and three quarters turns past wherever it was when I got it in the stock position.
definitely different. Well, it's hard to uh, say if it's truly different. It feels different. That's a subjective opinion. But I'm happier with it. It pulls that hill better. It pulls it with more weight than I've ever put up it before. So I think it's an improvement. I never did see smoke on that last hill pull. So if that's how much 25 horsepower is supposed to feel like, then I probably had about 12 before. Leave some comments below what you think. Maybe a better way to test it and get some real numbers. Maybe something a little more scientific. But I appreciate you taking time to watch it.